Well, hello everybody. So if you've been watching me for a little while, you know that we recently moved. And right before we moved, my sweet husband created the most beautiful craft room for me. At least I think it was pretty nice. You can see there that I had my little area where I do all my filming. I had beautiful lighting coming in from the southern exposure, so it was always nice and bright. I had this big IKEA PAX wardrobe that had tons of shelving and lots and lots of room for everything that I needed. I also had two other, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, maybe they're Alex or something like that, those drawers that you see on either side, the white ones. And I had all of my beading supplies in there. I had them all in these little tubes that I'll show you later. Everything was organized and orderly and nice and neat and tidy and it all looked pretty spectacular. I absolutely love this room. It was quite big actually. Um, there's uh, behind where you can see the uh, chair to the right, there was behind there, there was actually a huge closet. And I'm not only a beater, but I'm also quite a crafty person and I have a ton of craft supplies. So they were all in the cupboard behind me. So what I used to do when it was like Christmas or birthdays, I would clear all the stuff off of my filming station and I would pull out all my wrapping paper. And so that big um, sort of desk that I have, it's actually an island from a kitchen, but we used it for my filming room. Um, so I would use that uh, to wrap presents and all sorts of things. So I loved this room and I actually only got to use it for about three or four months before we sold our home. So I had finally just got it to the place that I was really happy with. And then next thing you know, we put our house up for sale. So now the reason that this video even started was because I went downstairs to start creating and it was a complete disaster. Look at this mess. I had stuff everywhere. I was feeling like it was a bit chaotic. I only had this little tiny table with stuff piled everywhere. I didn't even have all that stuff in the back. So I had a desk with my Mac on it, which you can see was covered in stuff, but I had none of this stuff over in the corner. So I thought, you know, I'm going to get going and just create something as best as I can. It's not the perfect uh, setup by any means, but at least now I feel a little bit more creative. So you can see that I had my tools kind of dumped in there and I had some beads and tubes and just kind of a mishmash of stuff everywhere. I had beads and bags, beads and tubes, beads and boxes, and you can see my metals. They're just all piled together. I don't know what happened because I used to be very organized, but in the move, somehow things just kind of got tossed around. Here's just some more of the storage things that I had. Um, you can see that one box there. I literally have everything dumped in there from beads to chain to leather. It was just awful. So I love that fabulous new Ot light that I bought. I got it at Costco and it is amazing. So if you get your hands on one of those, you'll love it. So I bought some more of these little boxes because they seem to work really well. And then I did have this big bag of tubes that we had from the store. They still have all the old stickers on it from when we used to use them. So I thought, why not try and repurpose them? So we have um, all of this stuff that I had all jumbled together. There was craft supplies and, you know, um, stuff for uh, wrapping presents and Christmas. And it was just a complete disaster of <laughs> everything all piled in, in there. It made no sense. And that just made my brain crazy. I can be a little bit tightly wound when it comes to organization. And this was not working for me at all. So this is what we started with. It looks like a jumble. There was stuff everywhere. I had already put the uh, pieces of furniture and everything in place, but I needed to kind of organize it and make it function for me. So we went from this kind of a mess to this. So now you can see I have cleaned up most of the area. I've got my entire filming desk all cleaned up. All I have there is my four favorite tools. And of course I have some barrel knot tubes because you know I have to do the barrel knots everywhere. I have a beading mat. I have a direct light that I keep right over top of what I'm doing and then all my external lights that I use. And I've cleaned up my desk over there. That's just behind our sofa. 
and I have a ring light there just because it is so dark down here. It's dark and cold. But um, so I had some of that organized. Now this is just a bucket of stuff that I found. It's old stock that I've had sitting around in bags for quite a while. So I'm going to do a fun little project at the store with that. And then we don't really have an office set up or anything in this house yet. It's really just kind of a disaster. So that is going to probably house some of my paperwork for at the house. Now we have this weird little ledge and I thought, well, let's utilize it with some of the stuff that I used to have uh, behind me at my other place uh, for my backdrop. So I thought, well, I'll stick some of these up there and I haven't um, affixed them to the wall because I don't really want to put any more holes in the wall while I'm still trying to decide if this works. But it just kind of um, gives me something to look at. It's pretty and it's utilizing all of those little things that I did have at my other studio. So there's that fantastic Ot light. I cannot tell you how much I love that. It has different degrees of brightness and it's fabulous. I have a nice little beading mat, more barrel knot tubes. <laughs> They're kind of everywhere. Now that little wood um, carrier, it's not meant for tools. I actually got it at Hobby Lobby and you might remember on another video, I had one in my dining room too that I filled full of plants. So you can see that I've got some of those containers and those have all of my base metal findings in them and I put them all by color. So this one is all sort of my antique silver and I put all the things that in the right homes, you know, I've got little beads and I've got big hole beads and buttons and that made it so much easier. I'm also utilizing these drawers. Now I have not had a chance to clean these out, so they're kind of a mess. That's kind of, that's my dirty little secret there. <laughs> but you can see like this one's all full of super duos. Now I have a pitiful little supply because I have a whole store full, so I don't really need them. Now I have changed this since I filmed, but I did start off by putting things like uh, jump rings, and some of my beads in these tubes. And I thought it was gonna be a really great idea. Now I think it would have been a really great idea, but I didn't have the proper um, housing for them in that once I had them standing up like this, I couldn't see what was in them. So I had asked my husband to build me something, but we're so busy on the renovations of the house that it didn't work, but I have something that I'll show you at the end. So you can see that I've taken off most of my other craft supplies. I've got, those are just some beads that I need to take to the store, some trays, and a few little extra craft supplies there. These are some of my extra tools. I have quite a bit of chain in there. And I also now have all of my stringing supplies all nicely um, wrapped up and neat and organized. So my leather and my Irish wax linen and Eslon. So it, I know exactly where it is. I don't have to go digging through boxes. Now this is still a little bit of a mess, but it's kind of in the direction that I was going to go. So this has some cut chain and some more jump rings that I think I've actually, uh, you know, uh, changed to something else now. But I have all my um, soft flex and my stretchy cords and all my wire. And these are just some of the pieces that I might wear uh, when I'm filming. I just keep a few pieces of extra jewelry there. And back there, I'm keeping some uh, projects that I have to work on for future videos. And that's just a few extra tools that I have, but at least now they're all in one place. And there's some of the props that I have for some of my pictures and some more displays. And then I have a Sizzix machine that I have not pulled out yet because I haven't had any time. And then a few more of my um, other things that I like to create. So there's just a little overview. You can see how nice and neat and organized it is. I was able to use two carpets that we had rolled up. And you can see over in the way back in the corner, I have a ton of other stuff piled up, but that's for um, other decor stuff for my house. So there you go. There is my completed look. I'm loving how this turned out. I have my creative space in the back. I have a little bit of organization in the middle. And then I have my filming area, which is nice and neat and tidy, which helps me to create. I find it a lot more um, easy when things are nice and neat and organized. So here's just a little overview of some of the areas on my desk. I've got all of those little cabinets sort of organized now with the, um, those are all my base metal findings and, and things like that on top. And then I've organized my uh, little rack there and it's just so nice I can kind of spin around and grab things when I want. And then you remember I had those tubes that just did not work out at all. I just couldn't find anything. And so I thought, well, we better change. So I went and grabbed some more of these little um, 
uh, containers and this is now where I've got all of my beads instead of the tubes and it's working so much better. I can easily find things and I find it really easy just to stack the trays on top of each other. So I have semi-precious in one and check glass in another and then uh, down at the very bottom I have all of my uh, different sizes of jump rings. I have a huge collection of jump rings and I thought you know what I'm going to separate them all to make life just a little bit easier. So that is the new craft room. So with all the renovations going on in the house, I haven't had much time to do any decorating. So I threw up a very simple tree, and you can see we just had some snow today, so we've got a bit of a beautiful backdrop there. I have to be careful how I decorate because my Labradoodle loves to eat trees. So and I don't have a fireplace in this house either, so I just took a side table and just added some decorations and a little bit of embellishment on a wall hanging. It's very simple for me. I usually go all out, but I just didn't have the time. So this is that time of year where we all get together with family. So for whatever you celebrate, I want to wish you the happiest of holidays. And I want to thank you so much for watching me all year long, for buying from my store, from buying from my online store. It has really meant the world to me. I am very tired right now and I need to take just a little bit of a break. I'm just going to take a couple weeks off and then we're going to see you again in the new year. So thank you again for watching. Have a great one and we will see you on the next one.